Okay, so here's the deal. I set up a new camera with a, well, let me just put a picture in. Here's a picture right here. Okay, real quick, this is the camera. There's the mic on top that I ordered. I had to order this special case, so it had the mount on top for the microphone, and it also allows the side door to be open, to plug in, and I just have it attached to my Joby, Gobi, whatever you call it, tripod, and that's all it is. So, you see what I did? I had to order this special case. Um, it's actually all aluminum case and then I ordered the microphone and I kind of put it all together under the advice and direction of Richie Plemons. Um, that's where I got this GoPro 5 Hero Black from and this is how he told me to hook it up if I wanted to run an external mic because the GoPro Hero 5 microphone sucks. It's terrible. It's just terrible. And my Sessions and my regular GoPro Hero, fantastic mics. I've never used an external mic on any of them. This Hero 5 does not have an external mic port. So Richie told me how to do it, and he says you got to order this case because you have to have the side flap open, which he was right. So that got me to the case that, why am I crunched over? It's kind of weird. So he got me to the case that I ordered here and I put the mic on. I had an adapter to plugs in the side with the mic in it. He said that as far as he knows, you have to have the one for GoPro, which is like 50 bucks for that adapter. There's a little black box on it and then it plugs in. Otherwise, you'll get no sound. The mic will not work. So um, I figured before I go and order that, I will try this with the little adapter that I have. Um, that's actually for my phone to plug in, to plug in headphones or mic on my phone. And if it works, it works. If not, then I gotta order the GoPro one. But this is what we're gonna try out first. And uh, we're gonna see how it works. So I will give you guys an update. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record for a little while like this and then I am going to say, okay, let's unplug the mic. And then I'm gonna unplug it and we will finish out the video then we will see the difference either one this whole first part you're not even going to hear me talking um in that case i won't even put it on here or two you will and then i'm going to unplug the mic and it should sound different because the mic should definitely make it a lot better that's the goal anyway but anyway look what i've been doing with my garage here i finally got there's the new right i know you guys like to look at it i like to look at it so um can't really see much in here. I did mount this. Um, well, you won't even know what I'm talking about because you can't really see it, but I did mount, that's the bag. Um, I'll show it to you more in the light tomorrow or something, but I did mount the bag in the side ride and I figured out how to mount the trash bag on there that he gave me with it. But I cleaned out a bunch of the areas um, over here and I still have more to do up there. Um, and I built this shelf along the wall here and put a whole ton of all the oils and the cleaners and a lot of people ask me I mentioned my videos the free all This is the free all the penetrating oil that I use I buy it by the case and it is better than anything under the Sun I've used thrust which is up there. I've used PB blaster which there's a can of it back there I've used everything and this is just my personal favorite everyone has their favorite. That's mine, but you know, I have all my oils and um, filters and a case of the grease that I use. And then today, Ryan made me these. He took PVC pipe and he cut them and notched them all out. And uh, I screwed them up to that board. So now, all of my screw guns and everything just hang up top there. They used to be on top of this toolbox, piled up everywhere. And now that's not the case. Now I have that, and uh, now they're not hogging up all that extra space. So, all right, so now what we're gonna do is, uh, I am going to just give you this quick story, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug the mic, and we will go from there. Okay, so, quick story. This is gonna be a real short one, not a long one like, I don't know, yesterday, a couple days ago, whenever I did it. But first, before we start this story, I'm going to unplug this mic and we're going to see what the difference is. Okay, 
no mic. The mic is unplugged and we're gonna see what the difference is. So my quick story. Um, some people have made, well I've seen like one or two other videos. This is kind of like the stuff people don't talk about. I've seen one or two other videos this past summer where uh, um, one person in particular has experienced this and I have experienced it on a couple of occasions. But one in particular that really stands out and it's kind of funny. Um, so you guys know I don't run guards on my trimmers. I don't like them. I like to have the extra string extended out and it allows me to go faster as a solo operator. I have, uh, you know, I don't think when I had employees, I can't remember. I don't, I don't believe I ran them when I had employees either. Um, but it, I just like not running the guard on. So I take the guards off all my trimmers. And uh, of course I don't have it on the one that has the Edge of Pro. So anyway, I was weed whacking, I'm going through this yard and I'm trying to get everything done, just kind of rushing along and uh, you know, I get all the trimming done and I just get back over to the truck and I, I hang the uh, trimmer up inside my trailer and I saw this little old lady, sweetest lady in the world, one of my customers I've had for a long time. She comes out and starts doing the little wave, waving to me so I go over and I'm talking to her and you know, I'm sitting there probably talking to her 10, 15 minutes and she's just kind of like looking at me and said, I felt like she was giving me, you ever get that feeling where it feels like somebody's giving you like this really strange look? That's how I felt. It, it really looked like she was just, you know, like, so anyway, I'm just talking to her. She doesn't really, you know, say anything out of the ordinary and we're talking about a yard and she's thanking me for how good it looks and everything else. And so we get done talking, like I said, like 15 minutes or so. And I go back to my truck and I'm um, just getting ready to start picking up my cones and one of my buddies is coming down the road and he pulls up on the, like on the opposite way of my truck and there were no cars coming so he stops on the road and he's talking to me and then he just kind of leans out his window a little bit and he looks and I'm like, what? And he's like, come here. And I go a little closer and he's like, what the hell's all over your face? And I was like, I don't know. I said, I just got done trimming. You know, that was the last thing I finished up. I was doing a bunch of trimming. And I uh, I said, you know, stuff flies up in my face all the time. That's why I wear my glasses, man. You know, so you only get one set of eyes. And I'm a real stickler. I wear my safety sunglasses. But uh, I said, I don't know. Stuff was flying up in my face all the time. And he's like, dude, you look like somebody threw shit at you through a screen door. And I'm like, what? And I go and I look in the mirror and the mirrors on the side of my truck are big and I'm like, wow, I have like little like blackish brown spots all over my face. It was dog shit, okay? <laughs> if you guys watched my video the other day, um, and I thought of this story right away when I was telling that story because it brought me into yet another reason why I don't like yards with dogs and people don't pick up their dog crap and dog crap in them. Apparently I'd hit a pile of dog crap and when you're running a trimmer with no guard, I mean it happens with a guard, but when you're running a trimmer with no guard, sometimes that stuff happens. It was nasty, completely nasty. Um, I always keep hand sanitizer in my truck and I have a pack of wet wipes in my truck. Um, I've been carrying them since my kids were real little. Those things will clean everything and anything. So I always carry a pack of the cheap like dollar store baby wipes or wet wipes just for that such occasion. So um, I got the wet wipes out and I'm scrubbing my face and I'm like going like this and sniffing my hands to see if I can smell it. And uh, and then I used a regular paper towel and I dried my face and then I took the hand sanitizer and I like rubbed it in my hands a little bit so it was gooped up and I just closed my eyes and I just started scrubbing my face all over. And then I wiped it with paper towels and I went over it with the wet wipes again. And uh, I had like two lawns left to do it. I was like, you know what? Normally I would just run right home and take a shower and, you know, because who knows where else it went to if it was in my hair or wherever it got into. But it ended up not being the case um, as far as I know. So I finished up them two lawns, but the whole time it was on my mind. I never stopped thinking about it. My buddy thought it was the funniest damn thing in the world, of course, because it wasn't on him. And uh, so that was that. I finished out the day. I went home. As soon as I got home, I didn't even unload anything. I mean, I had the enclosed trailer, so I really didn't have to unload anything anyway. I just put the locks on it at the end of the day and walk away. But I had some camera gear and stuff like that inside the truck. I didn't pull anything out. I just, uh, you know, went in the house and I took a shower right away. And then I went back out after it unloaded uh, the stuff out of my truck. But yeah, that was the situation. It was disgusting. Disgusting. It was all over my face. Um, not a fun experience, but 
So anyway, that's my story, and this portion has been told without the mic plugged in, so we will go see the difference. If uh, if I don't notice any difference at all, um, I'll, I'm going to guess that that adapter doesn't work, and I'm going to have to order the GoPro one, but if it does, I have like four of these adapters, and they're like $3 a piece on Amazon, so if it does, then great, I just save myself 50 bucks. If not, it looks like I'm spending another 50 bucks.